Hello fellow travelers, Donna Spencer, Lucra Journey, your personal travel advisor here, going over just a little bit more of the policies that we have. Today, covering the smoking policies for Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and Princess. Carnival Cruise Line is dedicated to the safety of its guests and crew, but Carnival also wants its guests to have memorable and fun vacations. Smoking is considered a fire hazard on ship. Consequently, it is strictly limited to specific exterior deck areas, and all guests are expected to adhere to the following safety guidelines. What all staterooms and suite accommodations including including the outside balconies are non-smoking this policy applies to all forms of smoking included but not limited to cigarettes cigars pipe vapor vaporizers oh goodness that's <laughs> it sounds like a weapon uh electronic cigarettes and marijuana two carnival recognizes that some states and local governments in the u.s and in the destinations we visit jamaica for one might allow marijuana use however carnival cruise line follows the u.s federal law which strictly prohibits possession and use of recreational and medical marijuana so both recreation and the medical marijuana and other illegal controlled substances number three any violation of this policy will result in a 500 dollars fine per violation that will be applied to the guest sign and sale account and could result in the disembarkation of all the guests in that stateroom. So if you've got one person that decides to bring it on board and smoke it where they shouldn't, and you've got a party of like say five in that guest room, all five people, whether they were partaking or not, will be forced to disembark. Number four, guests who dis are disembarked for the violation of this policy will be responsible for all of their expenditures and financial needs for getting home. So no help from the cruise line. No refund for any unused portion of your cruise. And you could be prohibited, there it is, could be prohibited from sailing with Carnival Cruise Lines in the future. So they are serious. The casino is a touch different, but not by much. The casino rules, there is no smoking in the casino unless you are sitting down and playing at something. It is not allowed to smoke at the casino bar or in the entire area when closed. So if it's closed, you cannot be in there smoking. Our smoking policy is included in the Carnival's cruise ticket contract. You might want to read it, some interesting stuff in there. I will have a link in the comments area. But if you follow the link to the Carnival Cruise site, then they have a list of all the acceptable smoking areas per ship. So if you know you're going on the Magic, you can click on the Magic and see exactly where smoking is and is not allowed. In keeping with US federal law, the minimum age for purchasing tobacco products is 21. This policy is for US-based itineraries and ships only though. All right, frequently asked questions. What should guests do if they smell tobacco in areas where smoking is not allowed or marijuana is in the area? Guests who are concerned about other guests violating our smoking policy should contact our onboard guest services team so we can address the situation. This will help avoid uncomfortable situations between guests. So in other words, it is not your job to go up and try to stop or guide or assist or lead to the light another guest. Your job is to simply be like, hmm, that's a problem, call guest services, let them and their security teams take care of it. 
What if a guest has a letter from a doctor saying that they are allowed to use marijuana for medical and or therapeutic purposes? Why is this prohibited? Marijuana on our ships is not allowed. Period. That's it. That's the line. It's right here in the policy book. While certain CBD products used for medical purposes may be legal in the US, they are not legal in all the ports we visit and therefore are also considered prohibited items. Guests will need to consult with their physician for other suitable alternatives. Okay, pretty cut and dry there. It is not allowed, no matter the circumstance, on the boats. End of story. Sorry guys. Princess Cruise Line, their smoking policy is one, two, three, four sentences. <laughs> Straight to the point. All right. Princess Cruise Lines, smoking on board. Our board. On board our ship, smoking is only allowed in designated smoking areas on deck and in designated bars. Okay. Smoking is not allowed in restaurants, bistros, cafes and lounges, as well as the theater. Furthermore, we ask passengers not to smoke in the cabin or on the balcony belonging to their cabin. So again, the, your, your, your stateroom, even if it comes with a balcony, is a non-smoking area. The cruise company reserves the right to impose a fine if the smoking ban is violated. And that's Princess. Mm -hmm. What is Royal Caribbean's smoking policy? Hmm. For the comfort and enjoyment of our guests. Our ships are designated as non-smoking. However, we recognize that some of our guests do smoke. Therefore, to provide an onboard environment that also satisfies smokers, we have designated certain areas in the ship as smoking areas. Cigarettes, cigars, e-cigarettes, and pipe smoking is permitted in designated outdoor areas. To assist in locating these areas, guests will find visible signage posted within all smoking areas and ashtrays that are provided for use. So if you have a question about on Royal Caribbean, whether this area that you're sitting in is smoking or not, just look around. If there's an ashtray, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good safe bet. Also, the signage, I'm sure, is going to be eye level in places that you've easily seen. Outdoor areas near restricted areas, food venues, and kids play areas and pools will not allow smoking. So again, if you can see a food venue, that's not a smoking area. If you can see the kids playing, that's not, a, well, playing in the play areas, that's not a smoking area. On Oasis class, however, smoking is not permitted in Central Park or boardwalk neighborhoods. So just because you're outside and it feels like an open space does not necessarily mean it's okay to smoke. Casino Royale allows smoking and has a designated area for non-smoking guests. There will be visible signage indicating the non-smoking area in the casino. All cruise ships departing from China and Hong Kong will have a non-smoking area in the casino. Smoking is not permitted in the casino for any ship departing from Australia and the United Kingdom. Okay, so with the exception of Australia and the United Kingdom, you can smoke in the casino. If you're coming from Australia or the United Kingdom, you cannot smoke in the casino. On board, all interior public spaces are smoke free period if you are on board and inside except for the casino except for those two exceptions that we just listed you cannot smoke smoking is not permitted in any dining venue theater bar lounge hallway elevator and the jogging track smoking is not permitted inside any stateroom and any stateroom balcony I'm catching on with the theme here, are you? This applies to all stateroom categories on board, all of them, from the interior to the suites and up. If a guest is in violation of this stateroom policy, a cleaning fee of $250 will be applied to their CPASS account and may be subject to further action pursuant to the consequences section of the guest conduct policy. Cigarettes, cigars, Pipe tobacco, 
must be properly disposed of and never thrown overboard. Cigar and pipe tobacco is limited to designated outdoor areas and cigar bars. You must be at least 21 years of age to purchase or use tobacco on sailings beginning in U.S. ports. For sailings beginning in all other ports, the minimum age is 18. Electronic cigarettes and e-cigarettes are only permitted in the designated smoking areas. I've had a number of clients ask me about are even though they're using a vapor instead of actual tobacco product, they are still considered smoking and you are still required to only smoke them in the designated areas. Royal Caribbean International kindly asks all guests to please observe the smoking policy. These requests are made to provide a comfortable cruise for everyone. Guests may also inquire at guest services for the location of the designated smoking areas on board. Guests who violate this smoking policy, here we go again, so they're serious because they keep repeating it. Guests who violate this smoking policy may be subject to further action pursuant to the consequences section of the guest's contract policy. Hopefully this sheds some light on the subject and gives you a little more understanding of what's happening and what's expected. Um, as I said earlier, I will leave links to all three of these cruise lines policy websites in the comments below so that you can go and check out the policies for yourself if you're still a little confused or you want to look them over some more. Uh, feel free to comment. I try to get back to you within 24 hours. And should you need help booking, also give me a give me a heads up. I can help with that as well. Until then, happy sailing. Let's start that over again. We're gonna have this one memorized. Oh that's an interesting image. Somebody puffing away while they're running around the drink. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is okay. It must be because it's here. Yes, my love. That's your I'm still in the middle of it. You made the bloopers again. Sweet. <laughs> I'm stuck out. Of course. And then you're going to eat some lunch, I hope, when you're done? Yeah, because I've already had to restart twice because my stomach growled. Uh. <laughs> All right. Elonic, it, hmm. You're just going to fire that off the wrong way.